okay we are we're making this video because we need some help um, doing a lot of research on uh, this is our first bearded dragon we've done tons of research we've had him for uh, about two weeks now from a reptile expo um, came from what I'd say was the best breeder there he seemed like the most clean breeder most organized uh, he's really pretty colors He's about seven inches in length. Uh, we believe it's a female. So the issue is, it's only eating about four or five crickets a day uh, that we can see. I leave a couple in there uh, so we can have access to. Them. She can have access to them if she needs it. But that we can see, she's only eating about three or four crickets a day. Sometimes, maybe even less. Um, my understanding is she needs to be eating like 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 a day. Um, so we're thinking maybe parasites does soak in the bowl once in a while, but not like a massive amount. We have a water bowl in there for her. Um, she drinks her own water, so but she's been in that a couple times on her own. Besides that, her poops are solid. Uh, they don't smell super bad. They look normal, but any ideas that you guys have or anything like that she's clean she's got all her toes and her fingers she's very active loves to be held she has the correct UVB and basking and all that um, she had a mercury vapor when I first got her but I took that away because I thought it might be too much for her while she's younger so now she just has a uh, 18 inch 5.0 that's uh, at the closest it can get to her is 12 inches um, so, anything that you guys can give us ideas on why maybe she's not eating or what we can do to get her to eat, uh, we're giving her warm little baths and keeping her thing disinfected and stuff like that. We don't have, uh, local access to a vet, so if you guys know of any, like, parasite medication, maybe if she has parasites that we can give her and just skip the whole vet visit, um, or something like that. But if we had to, I guess we could travel to, uh, we're in New Hampshire, we'd have to travel about four hours to, or more to a vet. I mean, we will if we have to, but, um, like I said, just comment, tell us what you think, and, uh, we appreciate it. And that's shedding under the chin. Alright, well, that's it. Thanks, guys.